Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me Alana, welcome back to my channel. some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I wanted to do my winter haul for you all. So I got a good number of books here. Some that were sent to me, some that I bought because I have a problem. And I figured it was time to film this because they had accumulated. So we're gonna do that. And I will show you what I got. So the first couple of books I have here, I actually received from Source Fire. So thank you to them for sending me these books. So the first book I have is an arc, and that is Bedazzled by Rylan Lasala. I've seen this author a lot on Twitter, and he seems really funny and sweet. So I was actually really excited to get my hands on this arc. It's about two boys who are exes who have to work together to... I think could be in some type of competition. It sounds really funny, sounds like it'll be a really interesting read, so I'm really looking forward to this. The next book I have is Kingdom of Exiles by Maxim M. Martineau. This sounded really interesting. So it's about a girl who can tame beasts and she's accused of a crime, so she ends up being exiled from the kingdom, but then they also try and send an assassin after her, so she's basically on the run for her life. So it sounded really interesting and this cover is really pretty, so I figured this would be a cool read to have. Next book I received was The Bone Witch by Rin Chipeko. So this is really interesting. It's about a girl who has the magic of necromancy, which is, they call her a bone witch, and she basically has to go train with another bone witch uh, in order to learn how to use her powers. And it sounds really cool, so I'm really looking forward to this. And I know I've seen a lot of people talk a lot about this series trilogy, and they've said it's really good, so I'm really looking forward to checking this out. So the next number of books I bought myself so, so we're gonna just dive right in. So the first book I bought was They Wish They Were Us by Jessica Goodman. I bought this because Aaron from Booked and Busy told me to get it, so I got it. It's about a girl whose best friend ends up getting murdered by her boyfriend, supposedly, and then years later it turns out that that might not have happened, and so she goes on the search for the truth, basically. It sounds like really good. It sounds like it's gonna be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Next, I have The Storm Crow by Kaylin Josephson. So this is a really interesting when I picked it up. It's about a girl who lives in this kingdom that has been taken over by an enemy empire. They once really valued crows in their kingdom. It was their like special animal or so. And the invading empire killed them all off. And so her sister, in order to make peace, ends up having to marry the girl off to the invading empire's uh prince and so she ends up finding the last crow egg before she leaves and so she takes it upon herself to raise it and i'm guessing this is going to be really interesting because i'm sure it's going to have to do something with her trying to like take back her kingdom and i feel like it's going to be really good Next, I have Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade. This is another Booked and Busy recommendation. Um, this sounds really interesting. It's about a girl who's really into cosplay, and she ends up winning like a contest and ends up getting to meet the actor of her favorite series, and from there, they fall in love, romance ensues, something like that. But I'm really looking forward to this, and it sounds really cute. Next is another... Aaron recommendation and that is the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle this sounds really interesting I never really even knew what it was about but it's about this guy who has to relive this day in order to save this girl or like find out how she died or something like that so I'm really intrigued by that next I have moon chosen by PC cast this was only two dollars which is why I bought it so this is about a girl who gains some special abilities and she basically has to save her people this is like the dumbed down version <laughs> because I'm sure there's a lot more that goes into it, but 
I kind of want to go in with knowing lust than I should, I guess. Next is Love, Life, and the List by Casey West. Um, I really enjoy Casey West's books, so when I saw this was only like $4, I figured why not go ahead and get it, and I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out. Next, uh, Books a Million was having a buy two, get the third free for manga, so I got the first volume of Ohara Ride. I've seen a couple episodes of the anime, and it's actually really adorable, so it made me really want to check out the manga. Next, I have Love Me, Love Me Not by the same author who did Ohara Ride. This sounds really cute, too. It's about two best friends, and they end up meeting two boys who, like, I guess change up their dynamics or something. So, interesting. And then the last one I got because of Chanel from Chanel Time, and that is My Androgynous Boyfriend. Um, this one sounds really cute, and the cover is really adorable. I don't really know what it's about, but I kind of just want to go in without any expectations. Next, I have The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. Um, because of Legendborn, I... I decided to just grab this book because I was really obsessed with the King Arthur vibes it was giving me and I was like, you know what, I love Legendborn, let me just check this out and see if I'll like that too. Next I have Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. This is Chanel from Chanel Times' favorite book, which is why I finally caved and got it. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I don't really know what it's about. I know it has some good, I think, asexual rep. So I'm really looking forward to checking that out. Next, I got The Ravens by Danielle Page and Cass Morgan. So this sounded really interesting, which is why I was excited to get it when it came out. It's about a girl who has magical abilities who's trying to join this, like, witchy sorority. And at first, like, there, there's some drama between her and the main president. And then they have to work together to basically save their campus and their sorority because evil is upon them. Next, another booked and busy recommendation is Fence Volume 1. Um, she said this one is really cute and so I was looking forward to it. And I decided to just go ahead and grab it when I saw it at my store. This is a booked and busy and K from I Love Books OK. Both told me to get this because they were recommending it and raving about it. And that is Where Dreams Descend by Janelle Ang Angla Ang Angelas. I'm so sorry if I said that so wrong. Um, this sounds really interesting. I don't know what it's about. I think there's maybe like a circus or something involved. But I'm gonna just kind of hop in without knowing anything because... Who knows what'll happen. Next book I got was Sky Hunter by Marie Lu. I've been eyeing this book and I'm not gonna lie, it's mostly because of the cover. It's so pretty and the like naked cover is just as gorgeous. So that's mostly why I bought it. Like even look at the pages. But also the synopsis sounded interesting. I think it's about a girl who's basically fighting for her country and it sounded like there's like a group of them fighting and there's a squad and you know I really love squads in a book so I'm here for it. Next, my very dear friend Erin, who I keep mentioning in this video from Booked and Busy, sent me Carry On by Rainbow Rowell uh, for my wish list. Uh, thank you, Erin. I've been definitely intrigued to check this out because I really did enjoy Fangirl, and so I figured why not check out the series that was in the book originally. And so now that it's going to be a trilogy, I'm definitely interested in seeing what all the hype is about surrounding this. Next is an arc that I got from work, and that is The Frozen Crown by Greta Kelly. So this is really interesting. I think it's about a girl who's queen and she's trying to save her kingdom. And in doing those, she has to make a bunch of questionable choices. And that's kind of all I got, but I'm kind of looking forward to checking this out because it really sounded interesting when I picked it up. And then the last few books here were sent to me by Simon Teen, so thank you to them for sending me these books. The first book they sent me was Rent a Boyfriend by Gloria Chow. This sounds so cute and so interesting. I really enjoyed American Panda. I definitely think I'm going to enjoy this one as well. It's about a girl who basically has to rent a boyfriend in order to appease her Asian American parents and just kind of get them off her back when it comes to dating. And so I'm looking forward to this because I'm sure it's going to be really funny and really good. So the next book I also have is Love and Olives by Jenna Evans Welch. So this is, I think, a companion to her original two books. I also want to get those because I would like to read those before I read this one. 
but it sounds really interesting. I think it's about a girl who travels to Greece, maybe, for to see her father or something like that, and she ends up having an adventure, of course, which is kind of why I want to check out the other books, because they sound really interesting, and I don't know why I never picked them up before this. Next, I have Chasing Lucky by Jen Bennett. I really enjoyed Jen Bennett's writing. I really liked Alex Approximately, and I have Starry Eyes on my shelf, so I would like to get to that one too, but this sounds really cool. It's about a girl who ends up moving back to her childhood town, and from there she reconnects with her childhood best friend who's kind of like the bad boy of the town now and she realizes that there are certain reasons to why her mother moved her back into town and she there are like secrets revealed and stuff like that too so it sounds really good, like it's gonna be a good story and i'm definitely excited to open this up next i have a cuban girl's guide to tea and tomorrow by laura taylor namey so this sounds really interesting it's about a cuban girl who has her life kind of planned out and unfortunately those plans fall through one by one so in order to kind of help her and because they're worried about her mental health her mother actually sends her to spend some time in England with a family friend and from there she actually has an adventure and she meets a cute boy and I'm really looking forward to this it sounds like such a cute read and I'm definitely excited to see what adventures ensue in this Next book I have is Lies Like Poison by Chelsea Pitcher. So this sounds really, really interesting. So it's about four best friends and three of them learn that uh, their one best friend Raven is getting abused by his stepmother. So originally they planned to kill her, but they, someone got cold feet and so they didn't follow through. But then three years later on Raven's birthday, they actually find the stepmother dead. So one of the girls actually gets arrested and so she has to rely on these other people to basically prove her innocence. And it sounds like it's going to be a really good story. I'm actually really excited to check this out because I'm really interested to see who killed the stepmother. And last but definitely not least, a book that I received from Seventeen was These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. This is a 19... 26 retelling of Romeo and Juliet but it takes place in Shanghai and oh my goodness this sounds so interesting it's about two rival gangs who are like fighting over territory and all that kind of stuff and the two leaders are actually ex-lovers and they actually have to work together because there's some dark forces coming in and killing off their people. It sounds amazing and I'm so excited to check this out. So yeah, that is my winter haul for you all. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching if you've watched this far. Please, if you like the video, please like it down below if you have any comments please leave that down below. If you're not good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You're awesome flowers in a world full of weeds.